take a good look at this futuristic destroyer, do you think it's fake? What if it's a concept that only has a visual representation so far? You'd be surprised by how many aircraft projects that we civilians would deem insane that are in development, and you'd be even more surprised by how many of them are close to becoming a reality. Take for example this new fighter jet with very few details known to the public. What is known is that it will be built with advanced composite materials, giving it a low radar profile and a strong airframe. And it will have advanced, directed energy weapons like high-powered microwaves and lasers for offense and defense with the ability to stop incoming missiles and also take out enemy aircraft. F-22 Raptor The F-22 Raptor is considered the first fifth-generation fighter in the U.S. Air Force inventory. Using low observable technologies, modern avionics, and efficient engines to offer an air superiority fighter unmatched by any other modern military. The F-22 Raptor, a critical component of the Global Strike Task Force, is designed to project air dominance rapidly and at great distances, and defeat threats attempting to deny access to our nation's Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marine Corps. The F-22 cannot be matched by any known or projected fighter aircraft. A combination of sensor capability, integrated avionics, situational awareness, and weapons provides first kill opportunity against threats. The F-22 Raptor possesses a sophisticated sensor suite allowing the pilot to track, identify, shoot, and kill air-to-air -air threats before being detected. Significant advances in cockpit design and sensor fusion improve the pilot's situational awareness. In the air-to-air -air configuration, the Raptor carries six AIM-120 AMRAMs and two AIM-9 Sidewinders. The F-22 has a significant capability to attack surface targets. In the air-to-ground configuration, the aircraft can carry two 1,000-pound GBU-32 joint direct attack munitions internally and will use onboard avionics for navigation and weapons delivery support. In the future, air-to-ground capability will be enhanced with the addition of an upgraded radar and up to eight small diameter bombs. The Raptor will also carry two AIM-120s and two AIM-9s in the air-to-ground configuration. Advances in low observable technologies provide significantly improved survivability and lethality against air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats. The F-22 Raptor brings stealth into the day, enabling it not only to protect itself, but other assets. The F-22 engines produce more thrust than any current fighter engine. The combination of sleek aerodynamic design and increased thrust allows the F-22 to cruise at supersonic air speeds greater than 1.5 Mach without using afterburner a characteristic known as Super Cruise. Super Cruise greatly expands the F-22's operating envelope in both speed and range over current fighters, which must use fuel-consuming afterburner to operate at supersonic speeds. The sophisticated F-22 aero design, advanced flight controls, thrust vectoring, and high thrust-to-weight ratio provide the capability to outmaneuver all current and projected aircraft. The F-22 Raptor design has been extensively tested and refined aerodynamically during the development process. The F-22's characteristics provide a synergistic effect, ensuring F-22A lethality against all advanced air threats. The combination of stealth, integrated avionics, and super crews drastically shrinks surface-to-air missile engagement envelopes and minimizes enemy capabilities to track and engage the F-22. The combination of reduced observability and super crews accentuates the advantage of surprise in a tactical environment. The F-22 will have better reliability and maintainability than any fighter aircraft in history. Increased F-22 reliability and maintainability pays off in less manpower required to fix the aircraft and the ability to operate more efficiently. Dassault Rafale Rafale is a twin-jet combination aircraft manufactured by Dassault Aviation and is capable of carrying out a wide range of short- and long-range missions. It can be used to perform ground and sea attacks, reconnaissance, high-accuracy strikes, and nuclear strike deterrence. The aircraft was developed for the French Navy and French Air Force. The fighter aircraft was used in combat operations in various nations including Afghanistan, Mali, Libya, Syria, and Iraq. Egypt, Qatar, and India also ordered the aircraft. The Rafal is powered by two M88-2 engines from SNECMA, each providing a thrust of 75 kilonewtons. It's a twin-shaft bypass turbofan engine principally suitable for low-altitude penetration and high-altitude intercept missions. The cockpit has hands-on throttle and stick control, HOTAS. The cockpit is equipped with a heads-up wide-angle holographic display from Thales Avionic, which provides aircraft control data, mission data, and firing cues. 
A collimated, multi-image head-level display presents tactical situation and sensor data, while two touchscreen lateral displays show the aircraft system parameters and mission data. The pilot also has a helmet-mounted sight and display. A CCD camera and onboard recorder records the image of the heads-up display throughout the mission. Rafale can carry payloads of more than 9T on 14 hardpoints for the Air Force version, with 13 for the naval version. The range of weapons includes MICA, MAGIC, Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, Apache PGM-100 air-to-ground missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, and others. For a strategic mission, the Rafale can deliver the MBDA, formerly Aerospatel, ASMP standoff nuclear missile. In December 2004, the MBDA Storm Shadow slash Scalp EG standoff cruise missile was qualified on the Rafale. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle the F-15 Eagle has been the U.S. Air Force's primary fighter jet aircraft and intercept platform for decades. The Eagle's air superiority is achieved through a mixture of unprecedented maneuverability and acceleration, range, weapons, and avionics. It can penetrate enemy defense and outperform and outfight any current enemy aircraft. The F-15 has electronic systems and weaponry to detect, acquire, track, and attack enemy aircraft while operating in friendly or enemy-controlled airspace. The weapons and flight control systems are designed so one person can safely and effectively perform air-to-air -air combat. The F-15's superior maneuverability and acceleration are achieved through high engine thrust-to-weight ratio and low wing loading. Low wing loading, the ratio of aircraft weight to its wing area, is a vital factor in maneuverability and combined with the high thrust-to-weight ratio, enables the aircraft to turn tightly without losing airspeed. A multi-mission avionics system sets the F-15 apart from other fighter aircraft. It includes a heads-up display, advanced radar, inertial navigation system, flight instruments, ultra-high frequency communications, tactical navigation system, and instrument landing system. It also has an internally mounted tactical electronic warfare system, identification friend or foe system, electronic countermeasures set, and a central digital computer. The F-15's versatile pulse Doppler radar system can look up at high flying targets and down at low flying targets without being confused by ground clutter. It can detect and track aircraft and small high-speed targets at distances beyond visual range down to close range, and at altitudes down to treetop level. The Eagle can be armed with combinations of different air-to-air -air weapons. AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles on its lower fuselage corners, AIM-9LM Sidewinder or AIM-120 missiles on two pylons under the wings, and an internal 20mm Gatling gun in the right wing route. Eurofighter Typhoon The four-nation Eurofighter Typhoon is a four-plane Delta Wing beyond visual range close air fighter aircraft with surface attack capability. Eurofighter has supercruise capability. It can fly at sustained speeds of over Mach 1 without the use of afterburner. An overall production contract for 620 aircraft was signed in January 1998, with 232 for the UK, 180 for Germany, 96 for Italy, and 87 for Spain. The aircraft is constructed of carbon fiber composites, glass reinforced plastic, aluminum lithium, titanium, and aluminum casting. Stealth technology features include low frontal radar cross section, passive sensors, and supercruisability. The four plane slash delta configuration is intentionally aerodynamically unstable, which provides a high level of agility, low drag, and enhanced lift. The pilot controls the aircraft through a computerized digital fly-by-wire system which provides artificial stabilization and gust elevation to give good control characteristics throughout the flight envelope. The pilot's control system is a voice throttle and stick system VTAS. The stick and throttle tops house 24 fingertip controls for sensor and weapon control, defense aids management, and in-flight handling. The direct voice input allows the pilot to carry out mode selection and data entry procedures using voice command. The quadruplex fly-by-wire flight control system has an automatic low-speed recovery system ALSR, which provides the pilot with visual and audio low-speed warning and will, if necessary, automatically take control of the aircraft and return to safe flight. The Eurofighter Typhoon has 13 hardpoints for weapon carriage, 4 under each wing and 5 under the fuselage. An armament control system ACS, manages weapon selection and firing and monitors weapon status. The Eurofighter is equipped with two Eurojet EJ-200 engines, each delivering thrust of 90 kilonewtons in full reheat and 60 kilonewtons in dry power mode. 
Single-stage turbines drive the three-stage fan and five-stage HP compressor. The engine features digital control, wide-cord aerofoils and single crystal turbine blades, a convergent divergent exhaust nozzle, and integrated health monitoring. Mitsubishi X2 Shinshin Mitsubishi X2 Shinshin, also known as ATDX, is a stealth experimental technology demonstrator and research prototype designed to demonstrate technologies required for Japanese indigenous fifth-generation fighter aircraft, designated F-3. The twin-engine fixed-wing ADTX demonstrator aircraft features aerodynamic design with longer nose section. It has a length of 14.17 meters, a wingspan of approximately 9.1 meters, and a height of 4.51 meters. Its maximum takeoff and empty weights are 13,000 kilograms and 8,900 kilograms, respectively. The cropped delta wing with cutting-edge root extension allows the aircraft to fly safely in a high angle of attack condition. Two outward-canted vertical stabilizers on the trailing edges improve aerodynamics and stealth characteristics. The long and flat fuselage is blended into the wings. The Shinshin is operated by a single pilot and is fitted with a retractable tricycle-type landing gear arrangement with one nose wheel and two central main gears. It also features aerodynamic control surfaces. Two rectangular intakes are provided on either side of the cockpit, while the S-duct design further improves aerodynamic efficiency of the aircraft. The Mitsubishi X2 demonstrator has a single-seat cockpit enclosed by a transparent canopy. Onboard avionics include active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, advanced electronic countermeasures ECM, and electronic warfare support measures ESM. The experimental aircraft will be powered by two XF5-1 low-bypass turbofan engines developed by Ashika Wajima Harima Heavy Industries IHI. With a length of 3 meters and a diameter of 0.6 meters, each engine produces a thrust of up to 11,000 pounds. The engines exhaust through low signature exhaust ports in the tail of the aircraft. The aircraft will employ afterburners for increased thrust. The Mitsubishi X2 Shinshin can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 2.25 and a supercruise speed of Mach 1.82. It can operate over a range of 2,900 kilometers with two external fuel tanks and has a ferry range of approximately 3,200 kilometers. Service ceiling of the aircraft is 65,000 feet and the estimated combat radius is 761 kilometers. Sukhoi Su-57 The Sukhoi Su-57 is a stealth, single-seat, twin-engine, multi-role, fifth-generation jet fighter being developed since 2002 for air superiority and attack operations. The aircraft is the product of the PAKFA, a fifth-generation fighter program of the Russian Air Force. Sukhoi's internal name for the aircraft is T-50. The Su-57 is planned to be the first aircraft in Russian military service to use stealth technology. Its maiden flight took place on 29 January 2010, and the first production aircraft are planned to be delivered in 2020. The fighter is designed to have super cruise, super maneuverability, stealth, and advanced avionics to overcome the prior generation fighter aircraft, as well as ground and naval defenses. The Su-57 is intended to succeed the MiG-29 and Su-27 in the Russian Air Force. The aircraft has a blended wing-body fuselage and incorporates all moving horizontal and vertical stabilizers. The vertical stabilizers tow inwards to serve as the aircraft's air brake. The aircraft incorporates thrust vectoring and has adjustable leading-edge vortex controllers designed to control vortices generated by the leading-edge root extensions, and can provide trim and improve high angle of attack behavior, including a quick-stall recovery if the thrust vectoring system fails. The Su-57's aerodynamics and engines enable it to achieve Mach 2 and fly supersonic without afterburners, or supercruise, a significant kinematic advantage over prior generations of aircraft. Combined with a high fuel load, the fighter has a supersonic range of over 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, more than twice that of the Su-27. The T-50 prototype has two tandem main internal weapon bays, each approximately 4.6 meters, 15.1 feet long, and 1 meter, 3.3 feet wide, and two small triangular section weapon bays that protrude under the fuselage near the wing root. Internal carriage of weapons preserves the aircraft's stealth and significantly reduces aerodynamic drag, thus preserving kinematic performance compared to performance with external stores. For air-to-air -air combat, the Su-57 is expected to carry four beyond-visual range missiles in its two main weapons bays and two short-range missiles in the wing root weapons bays. 
the primary medium-range missile is the active radar homing K-77M, an upgraded R-77 variant with AESA seeker and conventional rear fins. The short-range missile is the infrared homing K-74M2, an upgraded R-74 variant with reduced cross-section for internal carriage. A clean-sheet design short-range missile designated KMD is being developed to eventually replace the K-74M2. For longer-ranged applications, four large Asdilia 810 Beyond Visual Range missiles can be carried, with two in each main weapons bay. Reportedly, the fighter will also be able to carry the long-range hypersonic R-37M missile. Which of these insane jet fighters are the deadliest? Let us know in the comments, and if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching.